Here's the best bread substitutes for sandwiches. I recommend you stick to healthier bread options such as Guys, on today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm answering a question about the best bread substitute for sandwiches. This is another post from our hashtag TBT Q&A series. Now, these are questions from our old series that we filmed back here in 2012. So first, I'm gonna share my answer to this question from 2012, then I'm gonna answer it again today with more specific bread substitutes for sandwiches. So make sure you watch throughout this entire video. Miley Cruz, 125. Can you make some substitute suggestions? For example, I've been using plain rice cakes instead of bread to make an open-faced turkey avocado sandwich. I don't know what a sandwich is. I assume she means sandwich, but that might be the lingo these days. Uh, what would be a good substitute for an English muffin egg and she used sandwich? Again, um, great question. And there's actually, if you're gonna have bread, I mentioned this in my Food Wars episode, you can click here if you haven't seen my Food Wars on bread yet. Go with the sprouted grain bread. It's a better quality ingredients. There's none of the artificial stuff in there. It's actual natural foods. Another thing is, you can actually make your own bread and I made my own biscuits. I think it was last week's Bread's Cookbook Show. Click right here if you haven't seen that. It had like five ingredients. It was so easy to make. It was really good. It was coconut based. So you can make your own. So All right, now here's my answer seven years later. If your goal is to improve overall health and reduce calories and carbohydrate consumption, lettuce wraps are the best bread substitute for sandwiches. This is because they are great wraps to hold the food in place. They're crunchy. They're filled with nutrients and they won't affect your blood sugar or induce the fat storing insulin hormone. They're also low calorie and they're filled with fiber and we consider them a free food so you can pretty much eat as many of these wraps as you want. So by swapping out bread for lettuce wraps, you'll also eliminate the gluten and the grains while increasing your vegetable consumption. Plus, there are many different lettuce wrap options for you to experiment with. So a few of my favorite lettuce wraps are iceberg lettuce, romaine, butter lettuce, collard greens, and yeah, even cabbage. So guys, in the viewer question, they mentioned that they swapped out two slices of bread for one rice cake to make that open-faced turkey avocado sandwich. So first off, great job on making your sandwich open-faced, because as you're gonna see, eating an open-faced sandwich is just one of those simple hacks to cut your bread consumption in half. So rather than two slices of bread, one slice. Now with that said, let's compare this bread versus rice cake food swap from a nutrition standpoint. So here's the nutrition information for two slices of white bread. Calories, 144. Protein, five grams. Carbohydrates, 28 grams. And fat, two grams. All right, now let's look at the nutrition information of one rice cake. Calories, 35. Protein, one gram. Carbohydrates, seven grams and fat, zero grams. So by swapping out two pieces of bread for one rice cake, you'll save 109 calories and 21 grams of carbohydrates. So that's a calorie and a carbohydrate reduction of 75%. So you may be thinking from a calorie and a carb perspective, it's a great swap. However, let's see how a rice cake compares to a lettuce wrap. So nutrition information for a lettuce wrap, one calorie. 0.1 grams of protein and 0.2 grams of carbohydrates and zero grams of fats. So when compared to lettuce wraps, rice cakes are not only higher calorie and higher carbohydrate, they also have a greater effect on your blood sugar and your insulin levels. So this means that they may actually make you feel hungrier throughout the day. Plus, as I mentioned earlier, lettuce wraps are essentially a free food since they only contain one calorie per wrap. So you can essentially eat as many wraps as you like. All right, now let's answer your other question. What is a good bread substitute for English muffins? So if you're looking to eliminate grains and gluten, the best English muffins will be made with either almond flour or coconut flour. But if you're looking for an English muffin healthy swap, try these gluten-free paleo biscuits recipe that I posted over on our at TV Instagram page.
Now here are some other grain-free bread substitutes. If you're not necessarily looking to cut calories, but you just want a healthier bread substitute for your sandwich, you could also try egg wraps, even thinly sliced chicken breast. And one of our favorites, sweet potato. And let's not forget about the portobello mushroom. So if you wanna learn how to use chicken and sweet potato and portobello mushrooms as your bread substitute, guys, we have all these cooking recipe videos step-by-step -step over on our teamlivelean.com members platform. I'll put a link down in the video description below for you to check out those recipes and so much more. So here's the bottom line. If you love bread, you are already lean and you don't have any gluten intolerances, then you can still enjoy bread in moderation. So if you don't wanna make your own homemade bread that's healthier, I recommend you stick to healthier bread options such as almond flour based bread, coconut flour based bread, and there's actually even some cauliflower based breads out on the market. Also, 100% sprouted whole grain bread and 100% stone ground whole grain sourdough bread. Also, 100% stone milled whole grain sourdough bread. Now, most 100% sprouted grain bread brands are made with natural ingredients, no sugar, and they are actually a complete protein. And you can usually find healthier bread options always in like the freezer aisle at the grocery store. Now, this is because the healthier bread options do not contain preservatives or chemicals like you'll see in the other conventional breads that just sit on the shelves forever. Therefore, most healthier bread options need to stay cold or be frozen to keep. Okay, here's the question of the day for you guys. What is your favorite type of bread and what is your favorite bread substitute? Put it in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you show your support for this channel by please clicking that like button. It seems like our videos are getting less likes, so they're not getting sent out to more of our followers. So please help us spread this message by smashing that like button. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button while you're down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And keep living lean.